Hey everyone, we're back with another video putting these two MacBooks against each other in some tests. And I got some requests about doing some stress tests and also another benchmark test called Puget Benchmark. And you can find Puget Benchmark in the Adobe Exchange in the Creative Clouds app. It's a download, you install it yourself. There's a few things you have to do to the session beforehand to get it running. I've already done that for After Effects, so we're just gonna run that. And this is a legit, reliable test that you can do from your own house, testing your own equipment, your setup against these two MacBooks. And after we get our Puget benchmark scores, we're going to open up a few other benchmark tests, including the Blackmagic, Pear, and Cinebench, and Geekbench. Alright, so let's jump into this Puget benchmark test real fast. And I'm going to run the iPad timer down below so we can just have a good track of everything. Okay, we got through the Puget benchmark test and our pro chip model received a score of 661 and the max chip got a 769. And I'm sure you also noticed that the max chip finished a little faster and taking a look at our batteries, they're looking still pretty similar. Let's uh, move on to some other tests that I have here loaded up. We can do uh, our black magic test now. Alright, so the black magic test kind of showed us what we figured it would happen. The Max with its extra cores and RAM definitely boosted up the numbers in some aspects. So now we've got a trial version of Geekbench. Let's open that up and get some numbers from Geekbench. Alright, interesting. This is the Geekbench report and these numbers are not too far off. All right, and we'll end it on a Cinebench test. Okay, Cinebench just finished up, and we have a score on the Pro at 12,232, while the Max chip has a score of 12,267. So very similar numbers again. These are definitely both very capable machines. So I hope you got a couple more insights to these machines in this video. All of these tests are free, and you can use these to figure out what your system compares to these new MacBooks and if it's worth upgrading and spending that hard-earned money. So thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you at the next one.